Okay, I wanted to do a little uh, video. It's just a kind of a comparison video. Well, I've got two valves here. This one here is an Alco valve and it's 3.7 ton. Now this is just the power head. This one here is an OEM, also an Alco valve. It's a train OEM and it is three ton. Now, if I look at these things closely, I can see I have this monstrous difference in the size of the power head. This one being seven tenths of a ton larger than this one, it's got at least twice the size or maybe more of a uh, power head. Okay. So what does that mean and who cares? If a power head is this size here and you're looking at another one with the small power head, noting the two different sizes here of the power head, that's telling me something about these valves. Now this thing's kind of a high buck thing, it's a take apart valve and Fancy this and fancy that. Uh, they're both R22, by the way. Okay, if I have a larger diaphragm, remember this diaphragm is opening and closing the needle valve in the valve. Which one of these is go going to be more sensitive to a small change in bulb pressure? Now, obviously the answer is this one, because a larger diaphragm is going to have more movement for a small amount of pressure just because there's more square inches there. So that is going to take this valve, if these were in the same applications, where this valve may hunt, and if you don't know what hunting is, Suction pressure goes too high, suction pressure goes too low. High, low, high, low. It means it's not actually sensing the suc suction line pressure as it should. Uh, that could happen with an old valve that's sticking, not real common, but, uh, but because these diaphragms are so small in these OEM valves, they actually gave quite a bit of problem. I even talked to a train rep one time and he says, if you find that valve hunting, do not replace it with a uh, train valve. Go out and get something like this Alco or a Sporlet with a big diaphragm on it. That big diaphragm really makes a difference in how well those things work. I won't say these don't work, they do, but if you're looking for high quality and good control of superheat, you're going to want the larger diaphragm. And that's, a, you know, I mean, it's kind of simple, you know, not much to it. But if you have a valve that's hunting and you've got the charge right, there's no air in the system, uh, the bulb's tight and where it should be and all those wonderful things we do with these valves, you might want to consider changing out that valve and putting something like that in. Anyway, that's all on that one. Lots more on TXVs.